All right, guys, welcome back to the video here. So we're sitting here at the tie-in bench right now, and we're going to go down to the river in just a little bit, but I need to throw a few flies together. We're going to be going after crappie today. I'm just going to do some really simple, just like woolly bugger type uh, variations with some different colors in it and stuff. That's really the most productive fly I've used for these these crappies, a little subsurface fly like that, and uh, they just hammer it. So uh, we're going to tie up a few of these, head down to the river, see if we can hook a few on the fly rod. It should be pretty good action so stick around we're gonna try to do a catch and cook in the back of the truck with the uh, truck camper slide out that we made so uh, yeah stick around and uh, see what happens <laughs> Alright, so we've got a few bugs tied up there. That should be enough to hold us over for the night. Let's go down to the river, see what's going on. bit of a hike into the spot here not very far but just down this uh, ATV trail not really bringing all my gear with me I'm just got my fly rod here this is the uh, this is the moonshine drifter rod this is a five weight nine foot and uh, we've done a bunch of videos of this I actually did a specific review on this rod last year but uh, five weight works really really well for fish and crappy as you'll see and uh, hopefully I don't really break off much because I didn't bring any gear with me. I just brought a few flies in the rod, leaving everything else in the truck. Seems like there should be a better way than this, but sometimes the best fishing spots are the hardest to get to. <sighs> okay. Wow, dude. That is low. Okay. We want to be down there. Down that rabbit hole we go. I was expecting there to be more water. Dude, this is so low, I can't be anything in here. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, man. It's definitely not the juice. I'm not seeing any after here. We're gonna we're gonna walk around until we find a, a better little spot here. Yeah, I'm just gonna be that guy real quick here. Oh, crappy. Yep, that's a bass. Not ideal. Not ideal. Well. Alright. This is where I wanted to be. A nice big cast. Ooh, I don't know what that was, it might have been a bass. What do we got? Crappy. Yep. Sweet. Okay. Well. We got one little crappie. They're kind of just sitting down there behind that tree. That one will eat just fine. So we're gonna keep him in this small size. But we got dinner. 
It ain't much, but it's dinner. So we're gonna need a couple more. For sure. You know what I'm doing with the camera today? I just caught this other one. He's a little bit smaller than the one we just got, so we're gonna let him go. Ooh, okay. Here you go. I like to get one that's like a little bit bigger. There's a bunch out there. There's one. They're just stacked right up out there. Ooh, this one's a little better. I believe. Yeah. No, he's not better. Oh yeah, he is. We'll keep that one too. Still smaller than what I was hoping to keep, but it's been a little bit of a grind out here. There's one. Oh, what is that? A slappy? Oh yeah. He hit it again and again. That's not a bad one. We might actually keep that one. All right, guys. So I got the old Walmart stringer out here. We got three crappie on there. Uh, I want to keep fishing a little bit, so I'm going to go toss these guys back in the cooler. It's uh, pretty warm out here. The water temps are like ridiculously warm. Um, so I want to get these guys on ice. We got enough here to make a nice sandwich for us later. And I'm going to keep fishing. I probably won't keep any more unless we get a decent sized one that'll be a meal just on its own. But uh, fish around a little bit longer and then we'll head back and cook these babies up. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so I forgot to do like a little uh, fish and chips style uh, cut and cook with this. If you guys haven't seen my build on this whole slide out camper that we did for the Tacoma, I'll link it down in the description below. It'll also be up here in the top. It'll pop up right now. You can click on that link, it'll take you to that video. Make sure you finish watching this video first and then go back and watch that. Uh, while this is cooking, I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour if you haven't already seen it. Uh, we built a 7 foot slide out in my 6 foot bed here. So we got like a 24 inch little slide out here for a cutting board and extra flat surface. We got the stove. We got some cubbies in here with spices. Some other utensils. Pots and pans going here. Extra propane. And we have a, a nice mattress up here to sleep on. And up in the front we even have more storage underneath there. But if you guys want to go check out that video, like I said, link in the description. So I've already gone ahead and filleted the crappies. I have a couple in the freezer that I kept and I have about three pieces here, enough to make a nice little sandwich. So uh, wait, that won't take very long to cook at all. We'll toss that on there. We got some other stuff we're gonna put together, but. Getting crispy. Yeah, dude, I think the potatoes are done. Let's toss these in there. He's a little crispy. <clears throat> mm. Just like that. All right, guys, check that out. 
Came out pretty good. Well. Alright, let's try this thing out. Mmm. Alright guys, so I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to go finish that food up. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little catch and cook video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more of this type of stuff. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.